Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today I want to talk about a little modification that you can do to a vibrating jig to give it a whole different appearance. And it's one that if you pay close attention to during some of the major professional tournaments that are going on, you'll see a lot of these guys doing this, but you don't really hear them talking about it much. Uh, you know, over the years, when you hear somebody say they caught them on a vibrating jig or a chatterbait, uh, you assume that they caught them on a skirted, you know, chatterbait. But what we're seeing more and more are guys taking the skirts. Let me get this one off. Taking the skirts off of their chatterbaits and then just sliding on a plastic bait onto the back of it. Uh, it's a it gives the bait an entirely different presentation. And when you rig up your favorite plastic on it, you really can almost use anything. Uh, you know, cross, cross style baits like the Pit Boss work great. Uh, you know, any of your straight tail uh, trailers that you normally would throw, like a Fluke or a Zayco or, you know, you really can put anything. I mean, I've, I've experimented and put just uh, like seven inch ribbon tail worms on it and it looks phenomenal because you get like a really good snake ribbon flow behind it but the whole the whole reason guys are liking this right now is because you lose that drag of the skirt when that skirts uh on the bait when you're retrieving it it really it really creates drag and it prevents that bait from darting side to side as much as, as it possibly could. Now there are lots of really good benefits to a skirt. It bulks up your bait, creates a good minnow uh, flare, it creates, you know, it's really natural. And in dirty water, it creates bigger bulk, it creates a better uh, object for the fish to, to key in on. When the fish bites it, that additional plastic, when they suck it in, allows that bait to get sucked into their mouth better. Lots of really good reasons to throw a a skirted uh, vibrating jig now i'm not saying you should never throw a skirt i throw a skirted vibrating jig more than half of the time but when you take that skirt off and you're running just your favorite plastic you'll find that your your vibrating jig will really dart side to side more than it would with a skirt on it and that just has to do with the drag of the skirt and how much more streamlined this bait is. You know, you'll find it more drastic with straight tail baits like a fluke or just a, um, you know, a straight tail minnow that doesn't have any sort of kicker on the back. And that just allows the bait to dart back and forth. It also allows the bait to fall faster when you kill it, which is a good reaction strike um, generate generator when you're doing that. So, you know, if you kill a skirted vibrating jig, that bait will slow folly. When you when you kill it with just a plastic on the back, it'll really dart much faster to the bottom. So there's a lot of differences by taking that skirt off that, that gives this bait a completely different appearance. And it's something that the fish don't see as much when they're in a body of water that, you know, has consistently uh, had people throwing vibrating jigs. So I'd recommend it, guys. I think this is something that you definitely want to give a, a try to. I also will say I think it's a better smallmouth bait and a spotted bass bait when you get rid of the skirt. I don't know if it's because it's more compact and it gives the fish something more, uh, to key in on better in terms of you know a smaller some uh, smaller profile that they can eat better, which results in better hookups. But I do find that when I'm fishing for smallmouth uh, up here in the North Country, I like to take the skirt off and give those those fish more of just that straight bait fish profile. So like I said, guys, it's something different. It doesn't replace a skirted uh, vibrating jig, but it for sure gives you something different to throw. It's one of those things, if you're in a team tournament and you are on a good uh, chatterbait bite, have one guy in the boat throw the chatterbait and have one guy throw his favorite plastic on just the bladed, bladed jig without the skirt. 
it'll give the fish a little something different. You're not really throwing the same bait when you do that. It, it really is a significantly different presentation. So give it a whirl, guys. Let me know what you think. If you've experimented with this in the past, let me know. Leave some comments so everyone else can see it and can learn from you guys as well. If you've got specific baits that you love to put on the back, please let me know what those are. Uh, and if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the tip, please hit that like button, share it on your social media pages, and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thanks for watching, guys.